sport of the future while some look to the future to boldly go where no man has gone before. Others see the advances in technology as a door to new modes of entertainment and fun. So what does the future hold for these sport fanatics? Let's look and see. Birdman wingsuit flying is the sport of flying the human body through the air using a special jumpsuit, called a wingsuit, which adds surface area to the human body to enable a significant increase in lift. Modern wingsuits, first developed in the late 1990s, create the surface area with fabric between the legs and under the arms. A wingsuit may be referred to as a birdman suit, flying squirrel suit or bat suit. A wingsuit flight normally ends with a parachute opening, so a wingsuit can be flown from any point that provides sufficient altitude to glide through the air, such as skydiving aircraft or base jumping exit points, and allow a parachute to deploy. The wingsuit flyer wears parachute equipment designed for skydiving or base jumping. The flyer deploys the parachute at a planned altitude and releases the arm wings, if necessary, so they can reach up to the control toggles and fly to a normal parachute landing. All extraordinary things are opposed and ridiculed at first. My name is Jari Kuosma. I'm the owner and founder of Birdman LTD, which is the creator of the first commercial wingsuit. Back in those days, almost everybody who had done this before had died. The strange guy comes from Finland with a strange suit that everybody has been <laughs> afraid of. Uh, you have to do some convincing. In the beginning of the 1999, just when I was about to start this the wingsuit company, I was telling about the idea to my friends, more experienced friends. I remember they were laughing at my face. They just thought that I had completely lost it. Jumping, of course, the first time, you had to overcome your fears and you had to be absolutely convinced that, that uh, you did it better than, than all those other guys. You have to think of yourself that, am I willing to do this? Am I willing to risk everything what I have, which is your life? Then you take that leap of faith. I knew it was working right away. I felt this incredible freedom. It was the best moment of my life. I knew that, that this was the future. Now we know it is. Wingpack Another variation on which studies are being focused is the so-called wingpack, which consists of a strap, on rigid wing in carbon fiber. It is a mix between a hang glider and a wingsuit. The wingpack can reach a glide ratio of 6 and permits transportation of oxygen bottles and other material. On 31 July 2003 an Austrian, Felix Baumgartner, jumping from 29,360 feet 9 kilometers, successfully crossed the English Channel in 14 minutes using a wingpack, having covered over 35 kilometers 21. 8 milliliters. In 2006, the German enterprise ESG introduced Griafon, a wingpack specifically destined for the secret incursions of the special forces. As of yet, wingsuit flying is restricted to only very experienced hang gliders and parachutists. But the initial dream was that it could be used by everyone. Could we all flying 10 years from now?
Terminator pitcher, right now the next baseball great may be warming up, not on Little League Diamond, but in a lab. Researchers at the University of Tokyo have pitted a robotic pitcher against a robotic batter to show that the robots can respond to each other at high speeds. The pitcher is a three-fingered robot arm that was developed by the university's Graduate School of Information Science and Technology. It can open and close its fingers ten times a second. This allows for precise pitching that lands in the strike zone 90% of the time. The batter is an arm developed by MIT that has 1,000 frame per second camera eye attached to detect incoming pitches.